This is installation for the EMAC FL three-way valve in an EMAC. It's the same installation for EMF one hundred. Okay. First of all, take the FL three-way out of packaging. Here you have the new transfer block. You have the valve itself, and we have spares in there. So we have spare O-rings, gaskets, and um, QEV diaphragms. And we place aside. We can unpackage the three-way itself. Then, for the installation, you will need the transfer block as well. Those are the two parts you need. First thing to do is remove the grips, pull out the locking tab, peel off the rear section, peel off the front section, remove the frame, take out the two frame screws. Remove the frame. Just check that the gasket itself hasn't stayed in the body here. So we have the gasket here. Next thing we need to do is just push out the retaining pin. It's the top one. Leave the front one in place. This is for the um, trigger push pin. You want to leave that in place and just remove the top brass pin. Push from the right hand side through to the left. You can now remove the transfer block and the three-way. With the tap, often remove it. Sometimes the transfer pipe will come out with the three-way. If it does, just push it back down through the frame. I'm going to take the two gaskets from the standard transfer block and the standard three-way. I'm going to rebuild the assembly. Obviously, gaskets are egg-shaped, only go in one way. Uh, the new transfer block, well, the old transfer block could be placed on either way around. Because of the difference in height, of the new transfer block has to be placed on one way and that goes with the hole towards the main three-way valve body. So the hole here down towards the three-way valve body. Push that on, press into place, hold it there, put the, the gasket in the top now if you like. Okay, so that's your assembly together. Very important at this point to note the spool inside here, okay, the spool has to be pushed back into the valve body before you install it. This is very important. If you try and assemble into the frame with the spool in the outwards position, there's a potential for bending and damaging the spool. So push that in and make sure that's all the way pushed into the body before you install it into the frame. So all this can be slid down into the frame, just feel it click and locate onto transfer tube. Then we can put the brass pin back in. Now, final thing is to reattach the frame. Again, make sure the gasket's in place. Clip in the front, carefully close it up together. Put the two frame screws back in. Put them in gently to start with. And can nip these up. They don't have to be overly tight. Can reattach the grips. Tab back into place, and that is the 
installation of the FL3-Way.